Hello everyone and welcome to Jumpman Tech where we specialize in HVAC with the Everdeen DIY and today we have a service call for a true freezer. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumpman Tech. Today we're working on a true freezer. Currently, looks like we're at zero degrees. The bottom here, I know there's like a little digital thermostat. And that's displaying the temperature. It says it's zero degrees. I got a call last night that this system wasn't working. I was on my way. I got close to the building. And then they said, oh, it started working again. So I'm like, you know what? I'm turning back home. I went home. And another three hours later, they called me back saying, hey, it's not working again. I'm like, you know, you know, I'm not doing this back and forth stuff. I'll be there tomorrow. So today's the next day. Let's see what we see. That coil looks packed. Strange, why is it working? And then it's not. Fan is definitely running. Evaporator fan up top. Okay. Mm, nothing I see here. Here we have a Phillips screw. take this screw off and then we can take off this bottom panel oh man I don't know who put that in there but it's a freaking <laughs> there's a nut and bolt holding this together I can feel it on the bottom end a little nut I guess this cover keeps coming off. That's not original. There's the nut. Take that out. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, off the bat, it's filthy in here. Look at all the dirt on there. Jeez. Oh, man, look at that wall. Uh, ugh, that can't be good. Let's see what's going on through the back. Let's see what's going on through here. Oh god, there's a bunch of food back here. Nasty. Now you can see the fan running for the condenser. Compressor is running, clearly. The evaporator fan, everything seems to be run. It's super dusty. Why would it not work? You could have issues when clearly it's dirty. Maybe that coil is packed. Maybe it's overheating at times. Wonder if there's any pressure controls. Don't exactly see any right here. And also maybe that start capacitor and their starter components are on their way out. So sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's having trouble starting back up after defrost. I unplugged it and I wanna take off these screws. Let's see how this thing deals with starting up. And I wanna check can I pull this out backwards or forward? I want to get to that star capacitor, check some readings. It's just hard to fix a machine that's working. I'm going to plug it back in. Simulate a startup. Dusty all this stuff is, man terrible shape i can see the inside of that coil is super packed i'm sure that's probably playing a role somewhere so i want to see if this thing has trouble starting Put my hand on the compressor let's see what happens the compressor is definitely scorching hot i'm sure that condenser is playing a large role in that dirty condenser high head pressure and overheating of the compressor it could be going off on thermal overload 
I can't exactly say. I just hate when units are working sometimes and it, and it doesn't work and you're there when it's working. It really makes it tricky. Like if it doesn't start, next thing you know you find something, it starts. Well, you know that was the issue here. It's just kind of a mess. But we're gonna make use of this. We're gonna make use of this service call. It's a Saturday, they're about to have a wedding out here and I need to pay my bills, so I'm trying to <laughs> trying to work up some OT. Compressor started right away. Right away. All right, one thing I could check is the start capacitor. Let's see what the ratings on this is. 189 to 227 microfarads. Turn the power off. Mm, yeah, I hate how that thing is just hanging there. Man, I just pulled this, this whole thing just got crispy. All right, we have a current overload, a current relay, and a start capacitor. Oh, this is one of those that don't come off, huh? So where are the two wires? One blue and one beige. Just gonna touch those two. Alright, let's set our meter to read microfarads. Capacitance, we should read between 189 to 227. So I'm gonna put one on each lead. And let it stay there. Let's see what we get. 227 on the higher end. Yeah, this thing is good. It started right up on that simulation. Current relay could have some issues, but those things are pretty reliable for the most part. There's a good chance that this thing is just getting hot. For the fact that this unit was reaching temp and there's no ports to read pressure, I would say we're okay. But I put my light on here. This is a very, very strong light. You put it through here, you can't see nothing. This coil's packed. This coil's packed. We, we gotta clean this thing. I would like to pull out that condenser fan motor and clean the coil from both sides. Kind of a difficult spot to get into while oh, this battery needs to be charged. Mm. I could get to the screws like that, but man, it's not fun. All right, I got a much better leverage now. Kind of sketched out about that pipe, but it is what it is. Look how dirty everything is, man. It's really, really bad. Two screws there, and two screws there. Let's see if we get that off, clear out this area, and let's let's clean this thing up. wire is so tight for that motor I just moved it out the way like that that should do for now my coil is so packed let's take off these screws this is like cardboard man how cheap is this little cardboard shroud unbelievable look at this thing packed Act City, this is such a bright light. If anyone knows this Milwaukee light, it's such a bright light. Can't see really much. Can't even see the light. Moving it around, right on the coil. I really can't see anything. That's crazy. Super dirty. Let's start with a quick brush down. And then I'm gonna get some tools to get this to get this going, but this thing is ridiculously dirty. Ooh. 
a lot of dirt came out of there. But we gotta blow this coil out. All the real dirt is really stuck and packed inside. Got my little air compressor here. It is pressurized. Got this attachment here. Let's start by blowing out this coil with some pressurized air. And then let's clean this thing up. Oh man. That is wild. little bit of decency. Oh look, things in a blanket. <laughs> Alright, I covered all the materials in the back with plastic. This side is free and I got a plastic bag underneath. Got my portal blaster. Let's go get some water and rinse down this coil. I'm gonna apply some coil cleaner. It's actually evaporator coil cleaner but it's all I got. Water will do just fine, but let's do a little bit of this, get that thing inside there, and it'll help foam up and break some of that dirt down for sure. Condenser coil cleaner is also very, very corrosive. I don't see this even being a bad thing. You know, definitely shine it up. Let's get that really, really in there. Give this thing a bubble bath. Water is being pulled through there into the machine. Now through this hose. We've got two settings for high pressure and low pressure. This is great for condensers and evaporators. Ooh, a lot of dirt is coming out of there. A lot of dirt. I see a bunch of heavy stuff just come out. That's what we're looking for. Look at all that thick stuff right there. That's what we're looking for. Look at all that extra dirt from the back that came out. Unbelievable. Looks so much better already. More and more just keeps pushing out. shining through real well before you couldn't see anything and that's the difference that is a beautiful thing right there shine right through see the line nice and clear that's a beautiful thing 
I also wiped down the fan motor blade, wiped that all around. Looks a lot better. Let's put the shroud on. Excuse me, let's put the shroud on and let's mount this motor back. Here's the condensate pan from the unit. Let's just give that a quick wipe down. It's not too bad. But if we're gonna clean all of that and all around, might as well do a good job. Let's give that a quick wipe down. This unit needs some love, man. <laughs> Definitely been a while for this guy. Poor true freezer. That coil was insanely packed. What I'm thinking is that this unit was just overheating and the compressor was really hot. That condenser was barely doing anything. All right, wiped all that dust out all around. It looks so much better in here. This coil looks almost new. In the back. Got a lot of this dirt out in the condensate pan. All that dust that was on the side and ceiling is gone. It's really a big difference. Not to mention all the food that was back here too. And all the dust, clean all that up. Let's push this thing back in. I just plugged it in. And let's give this thing a chance. Showing it's 32 degrees in this box. All right, the compressor started right up. And we already dropped the degree. Let's give this thing a chance to run. It's not so easy to reach zero degrees. There we go, we just dropped another degree. That's a good sign. And let's see what happens. All right, it is all wrapped up as of right now. If you peeking through here, you can see the box temperature is at 13 degrees. I'm gonna give this unit a pass. Definitely at this point, it was couldn't even see any light through that coil. That coil was completely packed. The compressor was very hot. And in my opinion, we were probably turning off on the thermal overload. I wasn't able to see it. But for the fact they said this thing runs, then it stops, runs, and stops. And that coil was in that condition. I'm definitely gonna say it's that. We just drop another degree. And we're gonna wrap it up from here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.